Hello, guys. I hope you're okay. Let's start our analysis for gold for 6th of, 6th of September 2023. All right. Let me share my screen with you. Right. Okay, we start with Forex Factory first of all and uh, see if there's any news for this day. There's no news for the USD, no heavy impact or medium impact news. However, the AUG 230M have, uh, have impact news and CAD have 3 p.m. Actually, yeah, USD have 3 p.m. as a well. license services BMI do have it. Have impact news. So we've got one USD and two uh, CAD and one AUD. So AUD and CAD can affect uh, the gold price as well. But however, mainly USD affect the gold prices. So let's see how it will affect uh, the market. As you can see it's here, actually greater than forecast good for currency. The currency is right. The forecast is less than previous. So it might be around about the same. So let's see. I'm looking at uh, Dixie. Dixie has broken this level here. This level has been broken by Dixie and, uh, and now can go up to this level and furthermore onto this level. But whether it will go or not, let's see. Because it it may have to test this level, the broken level, before it goes further to the upside. So let's see. At the moment, there's no movement in the Dixie because. Uh, usually it looks like the Dixie is traded later on in the day. So All right. We may see rejection. In fact, that was another hair level has minor level. So we may, may see rejection here, which can bring the price bring up to here before we move to the upside further. And then of course there are different levels here to the downside as well as the market for any reason come. To the downside, we have some levels here. So to the upside, we have a levels. It's quite straightforward. All you have to do is just go with the um, your technical analysis and multi time frame analysis with candlestick patterns or whatever indicator is used to find your probability. Uh, but uh, levels are very crucial. So if you if there's some certain levels are bro broken then you know what to do right look going to gold rsa in gold is always sold so we probably will see rejection from here and let's go to daily daily there's further room to come to the downside if the market it, uh for the price as rsa shows as well uh, however Always look for the probability, just not not just one indicator or a few indicators showing you some different things. You have to look for the probabilities. That's what the trading is, right? And as I said yesterday, this is the level, 0 0.38 level, and we could uh, look the price. We could expect the price to come to around this level before it moves to the upside, then to the downside. And ultimately, it may go to the downside as well. 
as weekly you know the market is market is bearish as you can see from this uh, weekly channel here so market is bearish in weekly so if the market is keep coming down the next target will be around 1800 level Right. So that's what it is. And uh, let me go into further. Um, uh, daily. Daily interesting situation daily. Right, sorry, this is the uh, drawing for the zoom and I'm um, just looking into it. Right, but anyway, let's spend our time on analysis rather than this. Right, this, as you can see in the daily, how the market behaved. And now, uh, so I won't be surprised if the market come down this way, right? But that's a bigger time for a uh, bigger scenario. We are day traders, so we'll look at the four hours mainly. This is a level, and let me make this is a level as well. But however, for the pinpoint entry, you go to smaller time frames and. Uh, you refine your entry. This is just rough levels. Give you an idea where uh, a rejection can is possible. This is a level as well. There would be a rejection here, I suppose. Why look? If you further go down, look for the fair value gaps. That may give you further pinpoint entries. But uh, as you can see that here, there's a fair value gap here. Right. Let me something wrong with this hair. Let's make sure it's I have to delete this. Sorry, right? And uh, yeah, this is a fair value gap, so I won't will not be surprised the markets come here or up to this level, yes, and then come to the downside. Why downside? As we said, that it's Fibonacci level rejection. This is. And this level, this rejection. I I seen my shown my in pre previous previous video that it's a Fibonacci rejection from here from this level. So, and as I said a few minutes ago that Fibonacci level. This is Fibonacci level as well. So Fibonacci is very important, right? So I am expecting the uh, market possibly test here. You can refine the uh, going into smaller tram firm as 15 minutes I just uh, showed you, which is the level of around 1930. Or uh, if you go further, 1935, that's the uh, level. Right, and now, 
if the market retests this, which is possible, 1932 to 1935, and then the market may come down again. Also, this is uh, around 1930 is a pivot level as well. So we possibly can see rejection from here. As you can see, there's a fair value gap here as well. So market, uh, immediately it also, and it's also the downtrend as well. Eh? Liquidity hunt, liquidity hunt. And now this uh, area is broken. And now we definitely expect the market to come to here. But however, it not, may not come straight away. Go up and then, then come down here. Yeah. This is how the markets work. Well, it's 1915 level, as I was, uh, mentioned yesterday as well. So let me go back to four heights again. So, yes, the guys, that's it for now. I hope this is useful for you. And uh, please do comment if, if you have any ideas or any concerns or any questions etc and then we'll uh, take it from there okay thank you very much and have a good day good night bye bye